ancestors like you'll just be more connected you'll be more in tune you'll be <clears throat> you'll just be connected it's more spiritual it's a spiritual item you know but i was talking about these these money rituals money rituals <clears throat> and people you know people do money rit rituals all over the world all over the world and they do sacrifices damn my nose is <laughs> they do sacrifices they do all this stuff to take your wealth or they feel that they're going to take your power or they're going to take your energy or they're going to take your blessings or whatever it is that is coming to you they believe that they can take it they believe that they can take it and that's why we regular people we regular people we have to be careful we have we we have to be careful of people it's like you don't have to be afraid of people but you have to be mindful of this because this is what people do and i didn't know i didn't know until i was i put myself out there in corporate corporate america or i just put myself out there you know because it was i worked the government job but the government does it too and they hide it and the people in power they they do it and it's like you really can't say anything because whoever you complain to they're involved in it too so it's like you really can't get away from it and i don't know if people say like the best thing to do is just have your own business like have your own llc or your own like do your own thing you know when you're working for someone else they have other intentions and you're there you're there and they're gonna take whatever it is that is coming to you so they take your energy and that's how they they built their empire and it's like you can use your own energy and you can be great you can have your own business you can have your own corporation and you could be awesome you could be great you can be blessed <laughs> you can be blessed with your own energy instead of you sitting there blessing somebody else's business and they're taking advantage of you and using you how do you say like they're just like draining you of everything of all, all your energy all your life force and then it's like you're just so tired and you're so drained and you don't do anything with your life so when i was i was working in burlington in Burlington but it's like everybody just did black magic everybody did black magic and then I'm like you know I'm thinking I'm there to help them I'm thinking I'm there to help but it's like they see you and they see you have light or they see you have good energy and then they just want to take your whatever it is that's coming to you so I wanted to start my business. I've always promoted my business. I always promote, I always wore my sweatshirt, Lee With Love, Ink, <laughs> Lee With Love, and I had all my handles on my shirt. I would wear my pink shirt, you know? But, and then it's like, I don't talk about it, but you gonna see it, <laughs> you gonna see it. So then they'll look me up or they'll, you know, but it's all, they don't want me to know <laughs> that I know. But it's like, I'm not stupid, you know? But I, I let them, let people be people, you know? You just let them be people. But then it's like, they would sit there and they would do everything against me, like to stop me or to slow me down or to block whatever it is that's supposed to be coming to me. That It's like, they just didn't want me to have it or they wanted to take it for themselves. And it's like when you have good energy, it's like you got to be careful of who you're around, the people you're around, the company you keep, because people can steal your energy. People can take your, <clears throat> they just take your energy, your life force, your blessings, your good energy, and then you'll be cursed like them because you keep them around. So, and then they got all this negative, nasty energy then they didn't try to swap it. I don't know how they do this shit because I don't do this. Like I light my candles and I pray to God. I pray to God that these people sit there and they just do some other stuff and they do ritual. They do some real 
some real shit. I don't know where they get their information from. <laughs> I don't know where they look for it. It's like, this is kind of stuff that I would never get my hands. <laughs> Excuse me. I would never get my hands into because it's, you're cursing yourself. Like, whenever you decide to do black magic onto another person, you are consciously cursing yourself. I don't think they know that. <laughs> if they knew that, maybe they wouldn't do it. But it's like they do it and they do it constantly they do it all the time they do it every day they do it it's just crazy because it curses them and it's like the only way we overcome overcome all this all this magic <laughs> only way we can overcome all this magic is we have to grow we have to heal we have to evolve we have to get better from it you have to be aware from of it and you cannot be like oh nobody's doing anything to me no one is this and oh no one does things like that and it's like you cannot <laughs> you cannot be this naive to things be naive to the reality of things because in america we're full of everyone from all over the world and everyone does something they just call it a different name and it's the same thing as God. People believe in God. They call him different names. They call him Jehovah. They call him Allah. They call him... I don't even know. It's like, I, I just pray. I just pray to God. And it's just like, the things people do, it's crazy to me. Like, people do black magic. They just call it other shit. Other things. Brujos or... Brujeria, juju, you know, <laughs> they call it other stuff. Money rituals are done in other countries. People will kill you for your blessings because they think that all of your blessings are going to go to them. And it's like, they, how can you be this stupid? Like, how can you be this fucking dense? It's like, how by you killing someone is all of their money going to go to you? Like, how are you connected to that person? How are you going to get anything from that person if you have no correlation, no blood relation, no connection, and you feel that, oh, you, you out them, and then everything that's supposed to be coming to them, you're going to get it. Like, you, they have a business, and they're progressing, and they're doing great in their business. Oh, you kill them, and then their business is going to go to you. How? How is that logical? You know, it's like, how is their business and their profits and their money going to go to you and you're a complete stranger? It's, it's the mentality. <laughs> the menta it's like, they must be stupid, stupid, dumb, crazy. Like, I don't know, but it's like the mentality of it is I don't understand it. And that's what it is with people that do black magic you will never understand why they do it or like why they do it or why do they feel that they need to do this to get this like they always try to do something underhanded so that they could change the outcome of things like every reaction with every issue that arises there's a reaction to that issue they reacted this way because something happened people that play in black magic always try to change the outcomes of things and that's why if you don't control yourself and your emotions and stay calm don't freak out don't talk crazy don't be don't lose your shit you know that's how they they can get over because it's like they want you to lose your shit they want you to lose your spot they want you to to mess things up for yourself so it's like they won't do it so that it won't show that it is them doing it, but they'll play in magic and then they'll want you to react in a negative way so that things look bad for you or you look crazy or you look like you don't know what you're talking about, but it's all manipulation. It's all magic. And then it's like, no one really knows about the magic because no one talks about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to make it an issue. Nobody wants to. It's like, you don't have to believe in it, but you do have to be aware that this is what people do to get ahead in life, you know? 
and it's a lot of the elite elite people a lot of people with money like that's how they get ahead it's like they didn't earn that spot it's like they done did some malicious things to get that spot and that's how they kept that spot because they kept doing shit to people innocent people and then it's like we have to grow we have to heal we have to evolve we have to be mindful of this shit because this is what people do this is life this is real life and people play in magic it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter the churches allow it and they say it's okay just ask for forgiveness and you will be forgiven but you're cursed at the same time you can ask for forgiveness but you're still going to be cursed you're still going to have to live the karma you can repent for your sins for doing evil onto others and you're still going to have to pay for karma like god is not going to feel sorry for you because you went against him you're not supposed to go against him in the first place but people do it because they think it's okay and they fail to realize that they curse themselves and it's and it's in religion you know it's in the i don't know why they do it they do it because they think it's okay <laughs> they think it's okay they think nothing is gonna happen to them so they think that they can just do whatever to anyone and they're gonna have a good life and it's just crazy to me money rituals is like you can manifest but it's like how can you manifest money if you don't work on yourself to get money you don't work hard you don't want to do the work to be successful in life you want to sit there and you want to try to rob people and you want to steal energy and you want to do all this shit <laughs> because you want to get ahead in life and it's just like oh my god like this is this is what people do this is the reality this is the reality of it of it that's why i work alone i work alone <laughs> i do everything by myself i don't have nobody coming to me asking me for nothing like and nobody can ask me for nothing like you can't come to me you can't speak to me you can, no it's a fucking no nobody helped me so it's no i work alone i work alone because for a reason it's a reason for that i work alone because everybody has a reason that they want to take from you or they want to destroy you or they want to bring you down or they want to take credit for your work and it's like you do the work like you put in the work like you do what you got to do so that you can be great then you meet people and they always try to sabotage you they try to ruin you they try to slow you down they try to rob you like <laughs> people crazy they sit here they try to rob you and it's just like yo i was trying to help you and then this is what they do but you know it it is what it is and you have to learn from it you have to grow from it you get over it and you know like not everyone it's better to do things by yourself it's just better so that no one can sit there and try to set you up and try to do things to you maybe that doesn't happen to everyone but it's like when you have a purpose and you're meant for greatness you're going to be great in life and you're going to meet people you're going to have obstacles you're going to have things to come in your way and it's like you just got to stay consistent stay on your path don't get distracted by these people because they were like oh i want to help you nah like, get out of here no because these people will sit here and they will just set you up they will do the most they will you know they'll just make things harder for you you know as long as you stay focused you can still move forward but it's like it's just taking longer to move forward because you deal with people and all they do is try to sabotage you they get mad they get jealous they get angry and they hate it that you're moving forward and they want your spot so they try to do whatever they gotta do to to remove you from your place 
something. Everything is in your name. Like how you're going to leave it to someone? Like, hell no. I mean, <laughs> I work alone. I don't work with anyone. And these people, it's just like, like, wow. I mean, I just wanted to talk about it because people really do money rituals, money rituals. They kill people to get ahead in life to get ahead in life and it's just like wow like you would take it that far for money you want money so you would kill a person to take what they have but then it's like how are you going to take what they have like nothing is left to you you're not their child like you're not their beneficiary you're not nothing and it's like why by outing one person you think that you're going to get ahead or it's even with employment get mad because you're going for the same position that they want they don't want you to have it so then they try to take you out or they try to do things to make you react and look crazy because people are doing black magic on you and then you're not supposed to talk about it you got to act like everything is okay everything is all right and nobody's doing nothing but you know all these people doing all this shit to you and then it's like you can't even respond to the nonsense you got to act like everything is fine and everything is okay because if you react or you respond to it they're going to say that oh you're crazy no one's doing anything to you so then it's like you just got to let people be people let karma hit karma is going to hit your stupid ass you know I do my return of senders. I do my return of senders because people are working. They're just doing this work. And it's just like, oh, give it a fucking rest. Like, stop. Stop doing this shit. But they won't stop. And it just keeps going. And I'm just like, oh my God. So then I try, I haven't been making videos. But I've been writing a lot. And it's just like, I write it because it is what it is. And then it's like, how can you explain it? How can you explain it? How can you talk about it without freaking people out? Or like, oh my God. And you know, it's like, you just got to let it happen. Just let it happen. Let people see it for what it is. And you know, when they start going through their bad luck and they start, things start happening to them, then you'd be like, why is all this stuff happening to you? Because they're the ones playing in black magic and they're wishing the worst on someone that they can't touch like they can't they can't come over here they can't do anything and then everything that they do it just backfires onto them they end up cursed they end up with bad luck they end up going through going through things you know they just gonna go through it and you just gotta let them go through it act like you didn't know that they were playing in this magic like bitch i knew <laughs> i knew what the fuck you was doing but how can you talk about it? It's like you can't even talk about it. You can't even say nothing. You got to act like you don't know. <laughs> like you don't know. You don't know that they're playing in magic. You don't know that it's backfiring. <laughs> that they're going through shit right now. And it's like they're going to go through it. And then they're going to hide it. And then <sighs> it's just crazy the extent people go to to sabotage you to ruin you or to or for money like you know everything is money everything is about money like they want money they want your position they want your spot they want your opportunity whatever you have they don't want you to have it and it's like you gotta be mindful be mindful of this shit you have to be mindful of it you have to protect yourself take care of yourself your mental your Face, sage, cleanse yourself. Got my, got my spiritual splash here. Can you see it? It's like my splash. Like I, I make this, but it's just, it's just like damn. Like these people just won't stop. They just keep going, and it's just like oh my god. Like stop. But I'm going to continue to do the return of senders. I'm going to continue to protect myself. I'm going to continue to send the energy back. Because this is what people do. This is what people do when they want what you have. Or they don't want you to move forward. People don't want you to move forward. So because they don't want you to move forward. 
they're gonna do whatever they can to sabotage you and it sucks because it's always the person that you're closest to that tries to hurt you in the worst way and it sucks to be that way but they're the only ones that can hurt you because they're the only ones that's close to you they're the only ones that know your information they're the only ones that know anything about you so they know how to hurt you in the worst way it's like be careful <laughs> be careful i work alone and there is a reason for that there is a reason i work alone because hell no i put in too much too much work for somebody to come in here and try to sabotage whatever i started or whatever i created and somebody gonna come out of fucking nowhere and say that they, they did everything <laughs> like what like no I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that. It's 20 minutes in, but I did wanted to say that people do money rituals. They do sacrifices. They do all this kind of stuff thinking that they're going to get rich behind uh, deaf rich. I don't even know what they do. I don't know what these kind of people do. I don't know what they're involved with in. I don't know who they pray to. I don't know why they believe by sacrificing a human life that they're gonna get their opportunities in life i don't understand like they'll sacrifice children they sacrifice children and they you know the spouses and all this stuff and it's just like i don't understand like the mentality of it like i don't know how they work i don't know how they operate because i don't know what they're into or what cult they're into they're into something because this is what they do to get ahead they do this to get ahead in life and it's like it's like a secret society secret society of people where they have their own rules they have their own beliefs they believe in god like i believe in god and you're supposed to be good to people and good is going to come to you like that's what i believe but these people they see you and all your blessings and all your good luck and all your good fortune and they're going to try to sacrifice your life or they're going to try to sacrifice your children because they believe that they're going to be wealthy and they're going to be successful once they sacrifice you and take your life and drink your blood and do all this stuff and it's just like what like this is what people believe like this is what people do this is what they practice and it's the reality of this shit is fucking crazy. And it's like, all you can do is just protect yourself, believe in God, <laughs> believe in God, because God, God is real. God is real. Like all this stuff people are doing and it's just like, oh my God, like this is, this is what people do. This is what people do and it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Like we just have to live our own lives and be okay and not get involved in other people's shit mind your business work alone <laughs> work alone do things by yourself because people are always gonna come here and they're gonna try they are gonna try so you have to you have to be careful of everything you just have to be careful of everything. Be mindful. Be, be, be careful. Do your return of Sanders and protect yourself. Just protect yourself, your energy, because energy is a real thing. Like, people really do want to take your energy. They see you're a good person. They see you have all this good energy and they they want to take it they want to sacrifice you they want to swap it and it's just like what like they can't do that but they're gonna try <laughs> they are gonna try and you have to just be mindful of it i know i am running my mouth it's like i just wanted to talk about it a little bit because i've been writing i've been writing a lot and then it's like it's just the reality of things it's just like oh my god <laughs> oh my god but you know do your return to senders i'll be back i'm gonna do some return to senders and we're just gonna send that energy back to wherever the hell it came from like you know these people are 
easy. <laughs> Always leave with love. Stay positive. Vibe high, and I'll see you later. Bye.